We're talking about the 2012 NAB show and the great content shift. Hello everyone, I'm Tyler Pybert of The Pulse Network at thepulsenetwork.com. We're having a discussion about the great content shift and specifically the, the shift in technology really with uh, Peter Mogg, the CMO of High Vision. And Peter, let's talk about something that's pretty interesting right now. You know, the encoding aspect is always there, but let's talk about software versus hardware encoding because there's a lot of pros and cons to both of them right now. Well, it's, I mean, for me, it's an interesting topic because High Vision actually has massive expertise in both areas, so I can, I can play the fence very easily. <laughs> you know, basically, hardware transcoders have historically been very task-oriented um, items delivering extreme low latency performance and really deployed in a set-and-forget type of environment, whereas software encoders actually have a lot more built-in flexibilities, perhaps a lot higher picture quality, right? But they come with their own dynamics as well. Now, the one thing I find interesting when we're talking about, you know, hardware, software, anytime someone says hardware, I automatically think I'm going to be reaching into my back pocket and open up the wallet for a little bit more money. Well, that's, the, I mean, that's really not the case. Um, there's price points and performance levels on, on both sides of the equation. Um, hardware encoders, certainly lower cost to operate because the maintenance, power consumption form factor, they're very compact and they run all the time. Software-based encoding needs a server platform. However, on the other hand, the software will live on and grow substantially over its service life, life which is actually infinite. And the other benefit of software-based encoding or software-based transcoding is that you can put the computational power and the network capabilities wherever you want. If you want it on-prem, we can provide a transcoding appliance. If you want to launch it in the cloud, take advantage of all of the compute power network efficiencies uh, available there. Software is very, very easily to migrate to a cloud environment. All right, Peter, last question very quickly. You label a lot of pros for both of them. How does one decide which one to go with? Well, you really need to talk to an expert and figure out what is most appropriate for you. Um, for me, typically, if I need set and forget, very high power performance, an appliance that I don't have to worry about, perhaps have a high amount of remote control and integration into an overall end-to-end -end system, hardware is the way to go. If I'm dealing with something where I need to tune the application perhaps for internet media delivery over the top applications some days i have one stream some days i have 10 well then perhaps software is is certainly the way to go peter i gotta tell you it's absolutely excellent talking to you thank you so much for taking time out today thank you very much Tyler. excellent that is peter mog the cmo of high vision i am tyler pivan of the pulse network the pulse network.com another conversation in the books leading up to the 2012 nab show